Welcome to Perth's number one podcast. You're listening to the Jamo and Dylan Show. Yeah, yeah, we're on the way to Dunsborough. Little man trip with the boys. We're celebrating. G'day, guys, and welcome back to the Jamo and Dylan Show. We are very pleased to announce we have another guest, our first twins on the podcast. Ooh, hey! Please welcome Shep mates to the show. Boys, hey, thanks for having us on. No worries. Nice. Nice. Welcome to Perth, mate. Loving Perth at the moment. We are. You've been here in. before. Uh, we've been here once before. We okay. we've flown in. Yeah, flown we right. flew in and then drove out to Kalgoorlie for a bit of golf. For yes. a bit of golf. Yeah. Have you ever been yeah. to Kalgoorlie? When I was no. young, I have. When I was about six. What'd you go there for? Bill? <laughs> My grandma used to live there. Oh, beautiful. I don't. I remember it being not the greatest. It's when I was there, I, but it's I, been a long time. Been I didn't know what to expect of Kalgoorlie. Like, Speak your mind. I thought yeah. it was just it's a bit be of a, a country bumpkin town still. I it thought it would be a lot smaller than it is, but okay. like obviously, it's it used to be like a mining. big mining town. Yeah, yeah well, it still so, is obviously. Yeah. But yeah, it's just pubs everywhere. There's like you like it. <laughs> I don't know how, how many. Pubs I think it's just known for. I hate to say it, but miners, skimpy, like ruffles. ruffles. I've heard like it's just brothels. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like, like country footy heaven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there'd be a few footy trips going to Calgary. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like the lads are just let loose over there. So. That's the crazy thing. Like the price of like driving or flying up to Kalgoorlie versus Bali would probably be about the same. So, <laughs> oh, yeah. So it takes like, it was like, like eight hours to get drive there or something. Yeah. So yeah. It's, and it's a three hour flight to Bali from Perth. Are you serious? You yeah. probably yeah. lose money because it's you're spending to, yeah. Aussie prices in Kalgoorlie. Very true. It's cheaper to go to shoes. Bali than like drive around WA. That's why there's so Never many so people. It's cheaper to go to Bali than Melbourne. It is. Yeah, definitely. 100%. <laughs> really? If you look sure. at prices, like a flight to Melbourne. I don't know. On average, would be what two hundred and fifty bucks, three hundred, like, maybe more. Like one way. Yeah. Yeah, we paid like six hundred or something return last time. Yeah, if you get it's like, like would be like you get like sometimes like peak Bali, you can get hundred bucks one way. Yeah, two hundred. Oh, they do deals yeah. like eight hundred flights are com included. Like it's like cheaper than anything. Bro, why aren't you there every weekend? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was there. I was there with my girlfriend for a month. Last year, yeah, oh, right. and it was sick. Like, As I, you should be, it. yeah. yeah. If it's that cheap, yeah. How so that? no, that's the one perk of living in Perth. Yeah, I think it's like what is it? Oh, it's basically a part of Perth, Bali. Yeah, at this point, it like. is. <laughs> or Bali is just put it in the Perth, Perth WA. Yeah, yeah, just add it on the map for <laughs> sure. <laughs> all the WA lads just go there all the time. Yeah, yeah a lot of footy Perth, trips. Though, like, yes, yeah. I mean, we've been here for we got here yesterday morning, and we're staying in Northbridge, which I've heard is. The party It is scene. yeah There's so a lot going on In Northridge yeah. It's fun though Yeah We are uh, yeah. Got our own hotel So hotel rooms And stuff in there So it's what like What are you thinking of, So you went out last night Yeah we did go out yeah. We went to um, Well we spent most of the day At the Patriots Sports bar Right yeah Yeah, um, yeah good point. That was great fun Yeah This is like You know everything you want In a sports bar Only thing bar, I'll say Is we had security guards Telling us to sit down Like Oh yeah Yeah there was like a group wow. of us There was a group of like Eight of us Yeah and we're just like all mingling and having beers, and a couple of us are like sitting, like standing up, standing at the, on bar. the table, and you're getting told like, to sit down. Yeah. Standing at the bar, <laughs> I don't know. I that's had weird. That no, we even had that. Maybe they're more strict with everyone coming in later. Yeah, I don't know. What was that's going on. There was a big group of us, so maybe they were just pissed yeah. off that we were taking up. Maybe they can room. sense you're not from here, and then know. they're they're being like favourable to Western Australians. We were yeah, with a couple of Perth locals, and we just started ripping into Perth, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> Perth and they're like, they just couldn't defend it. They're like, I don't know what's happening. We were literally yeah. standing in one spot, and then he told us to sit down. I'm like, okay, and grabbed a, grabbed a stool and just was in the same spot, yeah. but just sitting down. Yeah. Like we're taking up the same amount of space. Doesn't change anything. Doesn't make any really sense. No. Nah, security guards can be a bit like that. Sometimes. Yeah, it's yeah. a bit of a power trip. You know, they just, yeah. just want to get involved. They yeah. do. Like AFL umpires, they just want to get mm. involved. Yeah, <laughs> raise a rain. <laughs> But yeah, Where else we, we went out to that. We, we we got in line at what was it called? Butterflies. Yeah, butterflies. Okay, yeah, yeah. butterflies. Yeah. But we were wearing Didn't some casual. In. Like I was wearing this. Yeah, and some shorts. And it was the shoes. shorts that gave it away. Yeah, and they, they have a dress. Did they not let you? Code, nah, don't they? Yeah. straight away. It was like sorry. I've only been there a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, fine. same. Only a couple. It wouldn't be one of the most because it's not a massive club. Yeah, okay. It's decent, but um, no, we haven't been there much. Did you go to? Oh, it's hard. Like, we don't go clubbing as much as we once did. Freo's good. There's metros in Freo. Pretty good. There's a big night out. Freo, I've heard, yeah. Cremant was pretty good. Freo, okay. Freo's like, um, some people will disagree, but I'd say it's a little bit Fitzroy-like in Melbourne. It's a little bit like mm, um, yeah. alternative. Do you, you, you see some, there or? 
Oh, sorry, you probably, if, <laughs> uh, probably you would, eh? That'd be the spot for the lads. Yeah, the yeah, lads would love Freo. Be, they would they? love Freo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, would. yeah, 100%. <laughs> you should get them on the pod and take them out to Freo. We'll do a we podcast should. in Freo. <laughs> Imagine their faces. We show up to a garage. They'd be like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> just try and remake that it. That shit went crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Fucking man. hell. International. Yeah. I reckon the Freo Credit garage Melbourne, party. Seriously. Mm. Melbourne got that going. Like That was insane. I don't know if we should talk about it too much, but yeah. like. I saw videos in Scotland yeah. and Canada. Yeah, and yeah. it went nuts. It was just going absurd. Yeah. A lot of them didn't understand. Like, they were just like, well, they're just having a good time. Which is sort of what piss, it was as well. The hate was just it yeah, was no, it was outrageous. It was next level. Like like no, no, no. Why are people so pressed? Like, yeah. yeah. They're not the only people filming a priest. They're never having a priest <laughs> again, bro. Oh, no, <laughs> no way. No. Oh, I feel like that quiet, uh, eh? The thing that I, f- I feel bad about as well is the haters that found them. And now mm. just sticking around on their pages. Yeah. So I've whenever they post, yeah. the haters are just still They're there. They're there forever. Excruciating like, watch. I check their comments. I'm like, yeah, bro. The hard watch, boys. <laughs> so many of those. I'm like, oh, that would just hurt the soul. It's even trickled down. Like I see it on our podcast sometimes. People are using those terms on ours. Hard watch. Hard watch, yeah, boys. Yeah, that's a good one, eh? We get yeah. that sometimes, don't we? Uh, it's like cringe. Yeah, cringe. Mm. Sure. It's like. You got childish, yeah. sure. <laughs> oh, that's all right. That's not the worst. Yeah. It's not bad. It's not an no. excruciating watch. It's not yeah. death threats or anything. <laughs> no. That's the thing, though. As soon as one person starts hating, oh, it just it Bro, gets going. It gives them a lot. It gives p- other people yeah. a lot. I saw people saying in. with that, like Fitzroy, whatever, um, they initially saw it, didn't think anything of it, and then, like, they started buying into the hate. Yeah, some people would come like, back yeah, to the like, video. Yeah, and then they're like, no, nah, I'm going to hate on this shit now. Oh. I reckon there was people who liked the video. They were like, oh yeah, that's cool. Like, yeah. oh, I, I want to be a part of that. And then with all their friends trashing. Yeah, they, they go, come nah, back an hour fun. later. There needs to be a psychology major on the Vitzroy Garage Party <laughs> yeah. and the mindsets into the hate, the yep. likes, everything. Probably yeah. solve a lot of problems. They could, eh? sell, they could sell a book on the Vitzroy yeah. Garage Party, I reckon. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> they sold t-shirts. Yeah, they, they tried, I think, so I think you should do a documentary on it. There should yeah. be a, a number a one in it. Doco and get Jordan Peterson yeah. to come <laughs> oh, in. Oh, he'd eat that up. He, oh, <laughs> <my God. laughs> he would eat that up, bro. bro. He's studying the that. Fitzroy Carrot <laughs> party for a <laughs> decade. <laughs> <laughs> one of the great, one of the great sites. Uh, but yeah, back to um, where we have been out or mm. go out. Like I remember when we first started going clubbing, we went to a club called Paramount, Paramount Nightclub. It yeah. would be close to yeah. where you're staying. Yeah. That's a bit of a dirty night, yeah. Out, you know? real dirty, one of them dirty filthy clubs. Filled with a lot yeah. of like 18, 19 year olds. It's just, um, yeah. Lots of creatures and stuff at Paramount. Out, out and about, out and around it. Rapture. We used to like Rapture a lot. It's a very it's, small it's night fun, club. It's a fun night, though. Yeah, Have you ever right. been out in Melbourne? Only to, what's that place called? Not Revs, is it? I think we did no, go. No, there no, no, no. It wasn't Revs. Are you sure it wasn't there? Electric. It definitely electric. wasn't. Oh, it was electric, yeah. yeah. But that was on like a Monday night or something. It was a Monday night at like 2 a.m. with Cal Freezy. Oh, oh really? <laughs> it was so weird. Oh my god! Can't it was fun though. It was great. It was. It was better than anything here on a Monday night ever. Yeah, I was surprised about like there was still. And we went to a pub I'm in not, Melbourne. Yeah, but yeah. We, we haven't been we, on a night out in Melbourne. No, we'd love to though. I'm not a big like. I don't. I don't go out a lot, so mm. like, I don't know too many of the clubs. Where, where have we been? Like, oh, we went Emerson, Emerson, New Guernica. That's. Like, I haven't even been to Revs. I've just heard yeah. about it. Yeah. That's what I heard about all the time. I just yeah. kept hearing Revs, Revs, Revs. Everyone just talks Revs, 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 Revs. Like, is yeah. it actually good? I don't know, bro. Like, I've only heard... Like, it's I've only heard so bad What dirty. is Revs? I don't know why it's so dirty. Like, like, yeah, it's just dirty. That's what I've heard. I've heard uh, it's just such a cultural thing in Melbourne. It's like, oh, yeah. you need to go just to yeah. do it. I feel like I'm like, there just because I've heard about yeah. it. A lot of things like that, you you get there and you're like, well, I didn't need to. Like, mm-hmm. that was a waste of my time. Is there a club in Perth that... You can relate to electric at all, or you think? Oh. So? I think like um the Av in Cottesloe gave me you that reckon? vibes going upstairs and like a bit of a lounge okay. area. That's what I'm mm. thinking. Yeah. But that's yeah. people mostly go there. You go to on the Sunday, right? Yeah. You go to OBH Sunday sesh spot. OBH Amazing. stands for o- Ocean Beach that? Hotel in Cottesloe, right. right? Is that like? Have you been to Sydney? Only when I was like fifteen. Yeah, He's I've been a couple yeah. times, like all the Gold Coast, like the Pav or anything like that. You know those big know. hotels on the beach. It would be similar, but be smaller. Like yeah, yeah, smaller. But it's a good yeah. night out. It's one of the best nights you can have in Perth. Yeah, Sunday really. sesh. It's yeah. historic. It's on the like beach. our our right across there. Yeah, it's yeah. right there. Yeah. It's like I reckon it's like giving off SB vibes. Yeah, I feel like every every state has one. Yeah, every yeah. city has one. Yeah, we've got the SB. Yeah, Gold Coast has the Burley Pav. Mm-hmm. Sydney got. Could you yeah. have probably? Yeah. yeah. There's a few. OBH. 
OBH, OBH, OBH mate. Um, CBH as well. CBH. Down the road. That's, yeah, Beach that's Hotel. literally if you can't get into <laughs> one place. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, a lot of beach hotels. <laughs> and then you get around all of them. The lookout as well in Scarborough. In Scarborough, yeah. The lookout is like Scarborough's for a lot right. of north More of bikies, the river. You know, in Scarborough, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? bikies and stuff. Really, yeah. Some fun people too. Yeah, yeah. Iconic beach, classic, definitely. Cotters though is like you said, you're going there after this, yeah, right? Yeah, and. We love it. Dylan and I have mm. always expressed our adoration for the suburbs. Okay. Just the rich life. Everyone looks like you can be mm. 70 years old and look 40. Yeah, they're living is that good. The goal? They're living good there. You want to end up in Cottesloe. <laughs> we, 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 we have spoken oh, I about live in it. We, we're not going to lie yeah. and say no. Yeah, Because <laughs> yeah. um, they have a, a nice golf course. Okay. Yep. They have a nice um, tennis court. They just have nice homes. And they got so made it. Gardeners. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. But yeah, where's the, your goal? Where do you just want to end up? It? Where do you want to end up? <laughs> it's uh, probably like I don't know if you made it. You're probably like Portsy Sereno. Down yeah, there. that's like a holiday house. Though. I couldn't live there. Yeah, true. I don't know. I'm not. How far is that from Melbourne? Is that like it's like around the bay? It's like where everyone has their holiday houses. Right. Uh, like everyone lives in like Brighton and stuff. Like I reckon. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like up there, upper class, and then the holiday houses are like on the peninsula. So we're on the Mornington Peninsula. We're like smack bang in the middle, and then. Ports in Serena is like right on the edge. We were talking so. about that today because yeah. we were saying when we were in Melbourne, we just, lots of people are from there. It seems yeah, that we were meeting. Yeah. I reckon like eighty yeah. percent of people that we met in Melbourne, like the ones who were Ford and came up to us and had a chat, were from the Mornington. Yeah, yeah. really. Yeah, they yeah. were just very vocal about it as Wait, well. Wait, was this all movies in Chapel Street when you were going out? Or no, no, no. It was more so um, on the Brownlow night. Hey, yeah. Brownlow night. Oh, what a night that, that was. That was a good night. That was a good night, wasn't it? That was when we first met you. <laughs> that was yeah. so yeah. funny. Yeah. We went to the casino, spent a few hours with you guys. Yeah. And then we all some, won. Yeah, we we all, got all got up. That was crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. I was up dude. 500. What were you up? Oh, I think, yeah, 500 or something. Yeah. That was just never me and Jamo got up on one. Yeah. You had a, the money wheel. Yeah. Well, yeah. You yeah. put it on the Joker or something. Yeah. And I had like five bucks left or something. Yeah, because you said, okay, I'll, mm. I'll put my five bucks. And I said, yeah, I'll back you. I'll do it as well. <laughs> and normally I'll I, match you, mate. I wouldn't like to do it. Like normally I don't like doing the same thing as someone else because it just feels like a cop out. Yeah, yeah. true. Yeah. But that didn't. No, 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 that, that <laughs> no was, regrets there. That was wonderful. That was like a one in 60, wasn't it? Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. God. That's great odds. It was It was a miracle. <laughs> yeah. Well, Smart game. What were like. you doing at... um? You're at the Dylan friend. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, we just showed up. Yeah, because we were like, "Oh, what are we going to do tonight?" Yeah, we flew in maybe like th two or three hours before that event started. Yeah, yeah. And we like, um, I remember they advertised like wear your best shit suit. <laughs> so we went oh. down and had to buy one. Yeah, so like Connor, I think. Yeah, Connor. At, like a the DFO. Is it a DFO? Oh yeah, DFO. Yeah. Yeah. Marvel like that near the train station or yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. We went yeah. there. That was a bit of. Bit of a shit shopping center, actually. Yeah, yeah. They uh, didn't have many awesome. suits, to be honest. Nah, which is the only thing we were after. I can't remember. Was everyone in suits? I'd Somewhere. say like we all yeah. were. A yeah, we were all suited. Yeah. Yeah. Sixty yeah. or seventy percent probably were yeah. majority. So yeah. we weren't out of place. Something about wearing a suit. I don't know what it is. It's it powerful. <laughs> yeah, you walk oh, different. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> we walk with a strut, don't yeah. we? Yeah. Something, yeah. Though, yeah. something about wearing a suit. Something about wearing a suit. Something hanging between our legs. Yeah. We wouldn't have won that night without the suit. No, <laughs> no, I don't way. think so either. We wouldn't uh, have had the arrogance to put the fire. Yeah, there is the a bit of arrogance, yeah. isn't there? There's a certain amount of arrogance. You think you're James Bond? Yeah, through the I should have money in my pocket suit. wearing this. Yeah. Suit. Mm. Do you reckon it's because we don't wear them all the time as well? That when you do on that rare occasion, it's yeah. like you really feel you you're know, really into this character. Because I wonder if you had one every day, if that would kind of the appeal would fade away. I reckon it would. I, it would. Yeah. Like a lot of it's business like a uniform, men. then isn't it? Yeah, you know? it's like wearing school uniform. Yeah, exactly. But then if you take it off, either like you'd feel free. Yeah, so let's yeah, say you yeah. work like a nine to five in an office, right? Come home, or take the tie off, undo yeah. the button. That'd be a yeah. relief, <laughs> eh? You'd be Fuck. wearing budget smugglers on the weekend. Yeah, That's it. Yeah, bro. A freeing experience. If, that, if you were wearing a suit every day and then you went into casual, do you reckon mm. you'd, the freer you would come Your, out Yeah, definitely. Like you'd I reckon you'd get a stiffy. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> you, you, your dick's never felt air before. <laughs> yeah, fact. It's not been so tight in there. Not since you are a teenager. These tight slacks in there. <laughs> Suddenly you're free balling in your room. You're like, yes, yep. Come Living go hard. free, son. But yeah, that night was funny because we weren't supposed to be one anywhere near the Brownlow after party. And where did we end up? 
the Brownlow after party. <laughs> <laughs> the free beers was the best bit. That yeah. Was yeah. We walked in and there was like wine here, yeah. beer yeah. there. I'm like, yes, please. I'll take that. Red wine connoisseur all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> I remember we walked in. Shout out to Jack Steele. But he came up to Dylan and like. Oh, I saw that. It seemed like a threat at first. Remember yeah, what did I he, he patted you on the shoulder and like turned you around. And what did he say? It was something like. Uh, something like. I, I, he mentioned that I'd said something. And I was like, fuck, I swear I've never trashed like. Jack Steele. Steely. Oh, it's because no. we called him like a goody two shoes once. We said he's like, oh, a, and he hated yeah. it, which yeah. isn't a bad. He's like that's a, not the, the worst thing boy. to say. Yeah. We just said, yeah, he's like a real like good role model. Yeah, yeah, a good leader. No, he is yeah. definitely. He is a good leader, but yeah. he didn't like it. No, because yeah. I've had. I, we saw him at the golf. Yeah, uh, probably two three months after the Brownlow night. Mm-hmm. So yeah. we said hi to Jack and we walked a few holes with him, um, and we spoke about. It and, he, and he said, he, yeah, he hates how sort of he gets the image of. Like the goody two shoes. <laughs> yeah. He goes really on the does, leader. He does that. Way. He does though. He's got the perfect face mm-hmm. for it. He never steps out of line. Never late. I think. I think people don't get to see the side yeah. of Jack Steele yeah. that he knows he is. When yeah. he retires, he'll probably be a yeah. man. Of say. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he was saying. He was like, "Oh, when I was growing up, I thought I was like a bad boy." <laughs> yeah. The now I just gone. see him as like Mister. Yeah, reliable. Yeah, yeah. Mister. Yeah. I want you to marry my he'll daughter. Be yeah. He'll be like, "What's going on?" I know. I know. <laughs> He's really fooling everyone, isn't he? He is. <laughs> He's doing it well. But no, what a night that was. That Good was throwback. That's absurd. We um did you know many of the AFL players or were you sort of just a bit out of your depth? Not not personally, no. Because no. like, there was a few that like we've spoken to through Instagram and stuff, but we yeah. don't know any of them personally. So it was a pretty surreal experience. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Just seeing them all wasted. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny though, eh? You see some they, things yeah. that just no one else gets to yeah. see. Yeah. Like, and there's media in there as well. Yeah. Like, there was, They're like, all like chatting to people each that other report shit on them. Yeah, it's like partying with them. Yeah, they're just. I like remember just before we walked in, Razor Ray walked out, and he said, "Like, yeah, I, it's not for me. Like, he, he just did, he just didn't want to have like the massive night. Yeah, maybe he didn't want to be on the drinks too much. Yeah. Oh, you can get that. Sometimes it's tough, yeah. you know, when you you're sober and everyone's just it's getting a bit of a work yeah. Yeah. Like, as well, you know. Yeah, especially if you don't have the greatest rapport amongst the players. Oh, yeah. Imagine that. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what the rapport is with Razor. Some like, people would like him. Yeah. I feel like some people would like yeah, him. Yeah, mixed bag. Because he's, do, he's still trying to do his best. And yeah. He uses everyone's name and tries to get him yeah. involved. You know, create that bit of personal rapport. I don't think anyone field. would call him out at an after party. No, like, no. It would be stupid. No. Nah. But it was nice seeing the players, like, even just the banter between them. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's what yeah. I enjoyed seeing. Yeah. Just the and it's Different not just clubs, just like the mates with each other. Yeah, yeah you just don't realise. Boys, wild. it's not just AFL players that we're with. It's like the elite. Yeah. It's like yeah. the best. Yeah, of I it's know. It's not yeah. like a party of just yeah. the normal, normal like players. It's years. literally the best play, mm. best yeah. 20 players. Generational yeah. talents. Yeah. We were chatting with Nat Five. <laughs> yeah. Just like. He like he's a legend, isn't he? Like, beautiful man. Work. Yeah. yeah. Keep it up, boys. He's an just like, man. This is like my peak. Like Nat Five just telling me he loves our stuff. like. You get lost in those eyes as well. Yeah. He's oh, a beautiful lost in the man. moment, man. I remember yeah. one of my favourite moments. I love Andrew Brayshaw. And there was a moment I had with him where, like, I know that he likes Skepta. And we were, like, rapping Skepta together. Yeah. And I was just oh. thinking, this this isn't real. <laughs> Why? <laughs> this is absurd. No, it's ridiculous. <laughs> mm. What uh, song were you singing? Do you know the line that you were rapping with him? Surely that. That state. I, yeah. So what happened was I asked him what his favourite Skepta song was mm. and it was called Kanichiwa. So then I started doing the the intro, which is like... Na, na, na. Yeah, then he started, <laughs> then he started yeah. going for it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nah, it was great. I loved it. Rip in. <laughs> he was great, Andrew Brayshaw. He, um, both the Brayshaws. Yeah, yeah. They were, yeah, they're both great value. Um, it was really weird, like, seeing them, like, know us and, like, yeah. beeline for us yeah. and... Say hi and stuff. Wow, this is great. Like, yeah, when they say yeah. hi, it's like, oh wow. It just yeah. makes things a bit easier, doesn't it? Mm. Instead of just the whole awkward, hey mate, love your work. Yeah, yeah. You don't <laughs> feel like the you don't crazy fanboy. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> makes us really conscious as well, like with our content going forward. Like, mm. you want to make we want to make sure like they're on side with us. Like, yeah. we're, we're projecting yeah. like a good light on players and stuff mm. like that. Sometimes we think about posting a video or a story or something like taking like fully joking about this player. It's like, oh. So he will know this that. guy or yeah. I want to I want to be friends with him. Yeah, like, like, I know. Yeah, I'm sort I of on their him. side, you know. I don't want to be against them. Yeah, yeah imagine you know. they say that they're like, "Nah, fuck these fuck guys." Fuck these guys, <laughs> you know. Like, 
Because yeah. I want to go to the after party again. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I want to be there every year, yeah. like an annual. Come Round on. Two. Surely if you go once, you get an invite back every year. I think that's fair, I right? think that's how it works. Yeah. 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 Like you show up at the door and that's that. Hopefully the, the people at the door remember you guys. Yeah. No, not that was scary. They were big boys. Those they were. Guys. I was thinking we're getting thrown out. And it was those guys that let you in. Well, yeah, because yeah. we had the wristbands. Yeah. yeah. We just said we're coming back in. Did you get the wristbands off? A girl, we oh. were walking past the door. Yeah. And then uh, as we're walking, we just hear a girl like shout out, oh, hey guys. And we turn around. Her name. Mm-hmm. Shout out. And she was like, yeah, you know, love the show. Um, do you guys want to go in? And we were like, oh, what the fuck, really? And she's like, yeah, yeah. Gives us two wristbands. It was just like that. It was weird, That's bro. so good. Jesus. What are the chances? God. The Jamo and Dill cult just coming out to help oh, in Melbourne. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she'll always hold a special place. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> what reached out? Has she reached out at all? Oh, well, afterwards we said oh, thank yeah, you and stuff, yeah, you know. There's a thank you, yeah. yeah. A little, Shout out to little bro, reach right out. here, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Forever, bro. We should walk around with lockets on with a... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, surely she can hook us up next year. That's got to be a given, right? Hopefully she watches this podcast. Put our order in now. Yeah. Yeah. I'll I'll do some work at the Brownlow. Like that sort of hopefully gets us in. Yeah. Yeah, that's got to be, right? We are... You boys fly over. We'll do it again. Oh, yeah. We'll just fly over every year for the Brownlow. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) And we'll just do exactly... Like we'll do everything we did on that night. We'll go to the casino. We'll win money. We'll win money. Because I don't want to change what happened. It's like a bit of a ritual now. It could be a risk. We'll lose lose all of our money down to the last five. (laughs) Yeah. And then we'll chuck it on the Joker. Yeah. 500 straight in the Same machine. That's like a movie. (laughs) Oh, my God. That's like Dylan and I were saying, oh, we could make a movie from that Melbourne trip. It was four days we had, and it was probably better than any days we've had in Perth. Like, (laughs) Because everything just fell into line. Nothing's ever in Perth, you know. Yeah. But yeah, now everything's was, in Perth this week. That was yeah, insane. Was weird. Yeah. Especially because they reached out to us. We didn't, mm. like, we knew they were coming over, but, you know, a lot of times we'll, like, message people and they won't get back. Or, yeah. yeah. And they reached out to us and mm. said, hey, boys, we're looking for Australian podcasters to get on. That's We'd awesome. love to have you. Yeah, Jamo called me. I was in Bangkok. I didn't realise. <laughs> and he's like, hey, man, what's up? Oh, guess what? And I was like, no way. That's <laughs> no fucking way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I remember I called you and you said, Fuck off, Shamo. Fuck off. Yeah. Fuck off. I just didn't believe him. I was like, that. He's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's just trying to like mess around my night or yeah. something. And it's good. We have a nice little rapport with them now. Did That's you know so the fellas? Like, did you listen to them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We anyway. knew of them for sure. Yeah. What were they like? How do they How do they operate? Like, oh, they're they like a bit of a team. A high scale like operation. Seven of them, yeah. like really, that were on the trip with them. They had like a manager. They had a producer. Prodi C, shout out to him. Yeah, Love yeah. that bloke. Three yeah, so cameramen. Yeah. Oh, Cal Freezy had an assistant as well, personal assistant. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. That level of oh my God, personal yeah. assistant. That's I remember, so interesting. Oh, I remember when we, we went out for, we went out to like a dinner and drinks with them. Yeah. And I remember the bar lady, the waitress, she gave me the bill yeah. and I've looked at it and it's like in the thousands. Oh. Is this after your dinner? Yeah. Did you know it was going to be like... Oh, and we, we rocked up late because we were we had oh. some issues and stuff. Anyway, we, yeah. we got back. Yeah. <laughs> we, we got there. And, yeah, I've been handed the bill and it's in that the thousands. That she was down your spine, eh? Oh, I shat myself. Yeah. Because oh everyone... Like, we're not covering this, boy. Like, are you fucking joking? Well, in that moment. We're not splitting four ways. <laughs> 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 we're not splitting four ways. We could have split it eight ways. <laughs> <laughs> no. And I've looked over and I've just gone, all right, I'm going to be so disrespectful right now, but I hope it pays off. And I just tossed the bill over to, to Cal Freezy and said, not mine, mate. Oh. <laughs> they took oh. No, no, but it was like a really, because there was a lot of banter going yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. He knows that we're not very wealthy. And, um, Cal Freezy. Yeah. Wait, I they think they invited you out to dinner. Like, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, true. Definitely. But no, that trip was awesome. That's great. Yeah, I'm always interested in seeing like how those people operate. Like, their yeah, team, we've their never seen it before. It's yeah. pretty insane. They've like, expanded yeah. too. So they have their own. Um, company now called the Fellas Studios, okay. and they had they were like um, build their own podcasts from scratch, but get like people in who know what they're doing or who are like yeah. funny from TikTok or yeah. mm-hmm. they've even started a sport one revolving around like the Premier League. Yeah. So they get three like they get a United supporter, a City supporter, and a Chelsea supporter, <laughs> and they all just bicker for yeah. like an hour. <laughs> but they have four locations now. It's like it's going to be a multi million dollar business. Fellas yeah, Studios. Yeah, the Fellas Studios. They're so smart. But how many podcasts have they got? It's a good name, too. The Fellas It is. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. They've killed it out. Yeah. yeah. Far out. At the moment, I reckon they have about four or five running. And like three of them are like top 10 in the UK. They're like, they're smashing. And it's all UK potties, is it? Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Maybe one day they'll go international. Get us on board. <laughs> Would you boys ever go international? Like any, yeah. any thoughts of travel? Or or yeah. happening to the UK. We want to go to the UK for sure. Yeah. Population over there, like the numbers are over there. Yeah, yeah. Mm. and like definitely, we have a good chunk that listen to the show from over there. So it'd be a good little like love adventure, Aussies, you know? They, yeah, like they love neighbors and home yeah. and away. Yeah, like they we mix well with them. They're like our yeah. cousins or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the yeah. banter works well. Yeah, I feel like our comedy sort of relates. Like we Mid love time. UK comedy. Yeah, you boys want to go over there or anything? Yeah, yeah, I think so. The um, Ashes are on this year mm -hmm. in the UK, mm. UK summer. So off to Lords. Yeah, we're going to be doing some videos for Sky Sports. Yep. yep. So th in the prelude to the Ashes, like ten videos or something like that. Yep. Yep. Um, so that'll be huge. That'll start in May. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And but then like, fingers crossed, like they want to fly us out. Like mm. there's been no confirmation yeah, yet. Right. Like yeah. if we get associated with the Ashes, and then like they try and get us on for maybe a segment. At lunch first or something class like that. as well, that'd be tasty. Oh, be Emirates, first, yeah. Emirates yeah. first class, that'd be handy. Just let them know. Know. Yeah. <laughs> Have you boys been to the UK before? No, no. that'd be exciting then. Oh yeah, yeah. this the four heritage travel. from there. Yeah, yeah. Grandpa's English, uh, other grandpa's Scottish, and. And as well, going back yeah. home in a way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mum said if we ever there. went over there, we'd have heaps of family. To yeah, stay that's with awesome. That, which is great. Yeah, yeah. the homecoming. Um, yeah, but uh, like the UK, it'd just be insane. There's just so much. Like yeah. they really understand like the content side of things over there. Yeah. there's a lot of opportunity. I Even it's, like yeah. Ollie and Teckers was on recently, and he said that um, they're like ten years advanced. Like yeah, in yeah. comparison yeah. to Australia, like they in just terms of un just, like, just kind of understanding yeah. like. Influencers or like content creators Bro, in we're general, so and slow. Mm. yeah, I guess supporting them and shit like yeah, that. Yeah. We are behind, and I feel like Perth's behind the east side, you know. Yeah, it's like if states. you guys are 10 years behind, we're 20. <laughs> yeah. yeah, oh, most definitely. <laughs> but I reckon that's Perth just is a little bit behind, uh, but maybe that's a part of its charm. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's sort of hard. I feel like it's way more accepted over there and in the yeah. US. Oh, like yeah, people way more just like, oh, you're a content yeah. creator, cool. Yeah, whereas here it's like. People don't get it. No, you try to explain they it. Don't, it's uh, just, you just no. know there's nothing going no, on. That's oh, a I thing. just don't. I don't bother anymore. I sort of just like say I'm doing uni. Yeah. And if it's like an that. older person asking what there's I do, no I point. Just say yeah. I'm a uni student. Yeah, like that's. And the hardest thing when I think about that is like telling, like a girl's parents that. So they go, "What do you do?" And you're like, "Oh, I like I make videos." And then you're like, "Oh, you're it's not. not you're not a plumber." And the dad's like. Bro, yeah, what, what are you, like, you're not a man. What are you offering to society? <laughs> yeah. That's what he's thinking. You know? Sorry, guys, we're just in a little break, intermission, and um, we were talking about how my dad, John Lennon, was a commentator, right? John, John Lennon. Lennon. Yeah, like the Beatles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a great name. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, he did a lot of commentary work, and obviously you guys, you know, have become known through doing some commentary work. Yeah. Mm. Yes. So Johnny Lennon needs to send us some of his tapes. Yeah. And yeah. we can we can start to have a look. He'd what love did he do that. The waffle was it? So he did waffle. He was the announcer at the Wacker. So he did all the test matches and stuff for you know, twenty years or something. Yep. Yeah. Um, he did the first domestic T Twenty game in Australia, I believe. Oh wow. Um, which was you know again twenty years ago or something. But yeah. yeah. He did the AFL for a few years. So, yeah, no, he's a seasoned veteran. Um, he's a vet. <laughs> and I, the th good thing was that I always used to go to the games and watch from, like, the box that he was commentating in. Yeah. So, like, it was always good for me. Um, yeah, great seats. Yeah, good value. I mean, what are the commentary seats? We were at the Rugby oh, Seven yeah. like, two weeks ago and we got, got up to the commentary box. Yeah. And they've just got the best view of the whole mm -hmm. ground. Like... It's an insane. It's so insane. They were doing like it so easy. Too. So easy. They've got like four screens in front of them, yeah. and they've got the headphones. They can hear the crowd. They can hear themselves speaking. They've got like yeah. stats here, stats, three different every camera angle ever. Like. Like. And you think back in the day, like you know, even as far back as twenty years ago, they just had a piece of paper with all the stats. Mm. Yeah, they didn't have all the new technology. The paper screens, and their homework, hey? exactly. <laughs> homework was a big thing too. Yeah, I, yeah. I used yeah. to have to test dad. On the way to a waffle game, like I'd go through the team, like the team sheet, and go, All right, number seven, South Fremantle, and he'd just have to rattle off the name. God, wow! But it was good for me because I learned all the players, learned the names. Yeah, okay. that's so important, though, isn't yeah, it? Like definitely. you can't have a commentator who just like is reeling off names and then just forgets a bloke. Yeah, and then, yeah. Like you yeah. know, people notice it straight mm -hmm. away, yeah. or they say the wrong Asks name. It it's out like, to his it. teammate. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and that, that was like you just come, fucked up. <laughs> come on, bro. One thing that he told me is that. Um, like a commentator's dream is to have the perfect call, but no commentator ever will have the perfect call. Like for a yeah. full length game, yeah. 
it's hard to nail. Like you'll you mispronounce a name. That's one thing too. Like, like Howard's build the man in statue is pretty good. <laughs> but that was brilliant. <laughs> that was brilliant. But how good was he for the whole day? Yeah, yeah true. We'll probably never know unless we go yeah. back and listen to the whole yeah. thing. But you're talking about the whole day or just the call? No, the whole day, like the the whole call. So the broadcast, oh, oh, yeah. perfect match, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's gonna be yeah. That's gonna be a rarity. Yeah. The blues. But then oh like God, we had a blue today. Did ya? Oh yeah. <sighs> We talking about this, mate? It's on you. <laughs> it's on me. It will come out in a couple we of weeks. Were, it's all right. Yeah. We're, so we were doing some UFC interviews with Ko, mm-hmm. um, and we didn't know this till yesterday. So yep. they're like, "Oh yeah, we've got access for you behind, behind." Uh, well, there's the press conference. So like behind the press conference, yeah. you can interview the players. I'm like great, Not okay. the, the fighters, Not the fighters. Sorry, Sorry. This, is, this is how good I'm going. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> the fighters, yeah. Um, but yeah, they told us that. Oh yeah. You're gonna interview the main card, which mm-hmm. is like three three main fights. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. So six fighters. So we were like, okay, we know the names of all the six fighters. Yeah, get some questions. Might going. get a few of them. Yeah. yeah. All of a sudden, they start bringing us fighters from the prelims, the oh, undercards. Yeah. yeah. And you are thinking, oh, oh these are blokes no one knows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like, uh, are you fighting for the belt? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, so I've got no idea who these oh, guys are. No. And normally when we do interviews, like you want to. You prep. Know their name. You prep, yeah. You want to at least know their name, where they're from, what they do. Mm-hmm. Like if you get those three, you can sort of work around it and yeah. not have many blunders. Are you just thinking, uh oh, I'm in trouble? Uh-oh. So I'm trying to first first couple were good. First couple were good. Yeah. But the second, uh, the third one, um, this this guy comes out of nowhere, just behind me. I'm like I'm, I'm interviewing now. Yeah. And yeah. I thought I heard this guy mumble his name, like oh, oh. Jason. <laughs> no. <laughs> so <laughs> bold of you to Jason. go. Jason, <laughs> he That's says, oh, "I swear to God, I heard Jason." Da da da. I can't remember his last name. You got oh demons in your <laughs> Yeah. So <laughs> we start the interview, and I'm like, <laughs> "Why would you go with the name, bro?" You he was Jason. Because I that like is wild. No, it's so wild. Bro. You couldn't do a mate or something. No, I hate saying mate to someone. Oh. It just degrades. And you feel you like you could have champed him. How you going, champ? No, you oh, can't. No. <laughs> you say just anything. But about I feel Jason. like. I feel like a good interview, you need to start with their name. Yeah. yeah but like, it just makes people feel So you went with, hey, Jason. Mate. Because I thought I heard him say what Jason. What were you thinking? Oh, mate, I had no idea. I just thought it was going to be a standard, all right, avoid the name, we'll get straight into it. <laughs> like, <laughs> But you just go with Jason. I just said, I'm like, oh, okay, right. he knows his name. And then he goes, what did he do? What oh, was his what, real name? What did he say? He's like, yeah, who was it? Jason. Jason. Who's Jason? Oh. And then he just looks at the camera, he's like, you serious, boys? Oh. Imagine you just started going yeah. nuts. Like, yeah. And this guy's a unit. Like, yeah. unit. You. He probably wanted to s- start beating his yeah. Hey? yeah, I was. That's the thing that I feel like you know that could make him snap. Yeah. That, yeah. The other day yeah. when we did an interview with um, one of the fighters, we walked in and we didn't realize we were going to the fighters hotel. So they're all there, mm. and we walk in and there's just these guys with neck tattoos. They're all like got Muay Thai oh, shorts, heavy on weight guys. Thinking, what the fuck is this? <laughs> it was <laughs> like, truly we intimidating. We hopped in the elevator with like you know a backpack like and tripods, shit. and then <laughs> there's these big like Jimmy Crew <laughs> walked dogs, in. Yeah. He's like, what's up? <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, I'm going to hit the pads. I was like, what the fuck? Don't fucking snap, bro. Bro, that's what it felt I like. I was expecting them like, to be like kicking walls and shit when I walked in. I thought yeah. they were going to be nah, crazy. This guy was actually lovely. Like, yeah. Jason was. was able to take a joke. <laughs> Tyson, so, his name is. Okay. So just, oh, close. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to start calling him Jason. Just oh, take a piss. But. Nah, look, he was actually, he was he was nice about it. Yeah. So just going to do more research. I'm like, yeah, no shit. Like, they didn't give us any names or like who you're fighting or anything. Like, you're just setting us up to fail here. So they lied to you, really. Yeah. They lied yeah. to us. So it's, it's their fault. Yeah. It's their fault. How do you feel in that moment when you go, hey, Jason? Oh, mate, goes, it's like the worst feeling in the world. You're yeah. like, oh, I've ruined the interview. Tyson, in Tyson the f- Pedro? Yeah, that's Tyson the, that's Pedro. The one. Versing Modestus Bukaskis. Yeah. 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 It's good deal. There we go. Good research. <laughs> yeah. That was the Tyson. one. We're sorry. We're sorry, yeah. Tyson. Hopefully he okay. wins. So oh, this will be a bit of a yeah. nail in the coffin oh if he God, doesn't get up. The fights tomorrow, we are rooting for I'm you I'm going to be rooting for Tyson. Yeah. yeah. If he loses, it's Jason, isn't it? Yeah, it's Jason. <laughs> <laughs> if I see him, I'm just going to call him Jason and hopefully he takes, takes a joke. Oh, <laughs> back kick, yeah. back in. Yeah. But oh. yeah. Has that ever like, happened before? Or is that, was nah, that the mate, first? Nah. Like, that was the first nah. yeah, with a player. Mm. Yeah, fighter, mate. Come on. There you go. Back athlete. to back. Athlete. 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 Animal. All about the terminology. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but they are animals. It's just one of those things your heart man. sinks and you just like mm. have ruined the interview straight away. So what did you end up and then talking you're on the, about? You're on the back foot. Yeah. Like, yeah. In an interview, yeah. you want to be level or on the front foot. Yeah. Like you want to take control. Whereas 
that just put me back a pedal. And I'm like, oh, okay, this is just going to be yeah. shit. He's got you on the we ground through, in an arm bar. He and you're no trying to get out. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's got me in a mountain. He's got you on his hit list. Yeah. Eh? <laughs> oh, my God, man. <laughs> He's got me in a chokehold. What did you end up I'm talking tapping. about? Just tapping. Oh, oh, we just had a list of questions like lined up. Yeah, anyway, yeah. So. Yeah, For someone it was, else, it was fine, <laughs> and it wasn't live, so that's good. Okay. Just oh, okay. oh, perfect. Bro, yeah, yeah, that yeah. was live. Yeah, bro, oh, oh, finished, man. finished. Nah. Dude, that's live. Nah. So I've just got that on my phone, and I can do what I please with that. I think <laughs> that's I might, a I think I might That's so good. <laughs> eh? We'll pop his photo up. That's so good. <laughs> I love that. I hey, it. Jason. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> there would have been confidence this. too, eh? Dude, I said it was so much confidence <laughs> because oh. I swear I heard the name. You the guy said Jason. You almost shortened it to Jason. Jason Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I heard. Jason Pedro. Oh. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Shocker. It is. That's Shocker. so good. Shocker. On the topic of um, fighting, onto who's punching. Oh, who's punching? Who's punching? All right. Bang, bang. Keen. Let's get stuck into it. Who's punching? All right, I'll do the little intro because John Lennon's not here. <coughs> Welcome to Who's Punching with Jamo and Dylan and Shepmates. Yes. Perfect. Just a deep voice, really. That was nice. Yeah, thank uh, you. We usually, you know, score it maybe 1-0, one 1-1, nil, one one based on the amount of photos we get. Yeah, so let's say yeah. four photos, it might, it could be like a 2-0 win. Yeah. Or well, if they both score, you, you'll, you'll get the... Get oh, the so you're it. talking in football terms. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 2-0, yeah. 3-0. Yeah. Sometimes it's a draw. Sometimes you know, it's like, not always easy. Yeah, yeah okay. okay. Yep. If there's yep. like not a good looking bloke, you know, what's the highest you've gone? There's been four nillers before, like four nillers. Sweeps, five bro. nillers, yeah. wow. six nillers. Yeah. That's like genuine. Sweeps, we can't bro. even yeah. argue. There's been sweeps, like you know, a lot of the times the bloke is punching, but there's been some four nil where the girls punch. Yeah, the crowd doesn't always love it, but <laughs> that's fucking. But that's the reality. Of that's it. the it reality. Sometimes the those are kind of the best ones, though. <laughs> you know, I love like um, when a girl will go up like two nil, and then there'll be three there more are photos, yeah. and then the guy comes back yeah. and wins three two. <laughs> Because, oh, you know, yeah. sometimes they don't get your angle. It's not your yeah, day. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes they'll, like, a girl will have, like, makeup photo, makeup photo, and then, like, a few without makeup. Wow. And I'm sorry. No, it does Mind change things. Oh. It does. It does. Sometimes the girls are good. We get them and they say, um, these are no makeup photos to, to make, make it, it even. Fair, yeah. So I respect the, you know, I respect that. Yeah. yeah I respect imagine that if boys could wear. Mate, if we like, could wear makeup, the girls could, would be in trouble. To be eh? fair. People say that a beard for a man is like No, that's kind of, uh, in a way, yeah, but. But not ever, see, girls, any girl can get makeup. Not every guy can grow a beard. I like that. Yeah. It's all about equality. It is. God. Maybe not every girl can get makeup. There's a lot of poor (laughs) poor people in the world. (laughs) And I'll send my condolences. There we go. All right. Please settle this. My boyfriend thinks I'm punching. Okay. So I'll just, I'll. Turn the phone around. All right. And then we'll My boyfriend thinks I'm punching. So we'll go, we'll go a photo at a time. Yeah. Okay, this is um, difficult. They are in... They look like that's a fucking, graduation. You know what they look like? Death Eaters from Harry Potter. Yeah, that's a bit... That's the first one. What do we reckon, lads? You're spot on there, mate. Death Eaters from There's Harry Potter. There's four photos for this couple. They're dark robes. Where are they graduating oh. from? Uni or high school? Wizardry do we magic, say, Do we mate. say the result now? or do We We can give a, yeah, so, yeah, what, do you, so what do you think in this for this photo? Who are you giving I think, the... I think the guy is batting. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. okay. So we'll give it one nil to her. She's up. One nil to her. She's up. Yeah, I agree. Okay. She's up. Do you boys want to have it? Do you I'm happy with that. I agree with that. Yeah. Yep. Okay, picture number two. All right, number two. All right, I'm, gi- I'm giving him a point. Yeah, I'm going to bring yeah. it back 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, yeah. one. He scores, the puts equalizer. one in the back of the net. The, the equaliser. Let us know what you think. Why does he have his eyes closed in every photo? <laughs> <laughs> he could, could be blind or something. It's tough. Yeah, game, I think bro. it's an equaliser there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. I think so. One, one. How many photos left? There's two left. Oh, okay. All right. Day at the races. Day at the races. Gee, okay. I'm getting like a Harry Styles vibe here. Harry Styles. Jeez. Oh, this is, I can't. Can I not give a point? Yeah, it can be a draw. Yeah, yeah, I'll give a draw. It, you can keep. So a do one they one. both get a goal? Do you reckon for them being the same, or do they? Is it just cancel out? I can cancel out. I reckon it's yeah. good defense. Yeah, I think yeah. You cancel it out. All right, what I'm a bit stumped, boys. Yeah. To be honest, they the races. Ooh. It's not. She hasn't shown much. She's got the side profile. Yeah, that's people. what I mean. Yeah. See, sometimes he's it's out. he's looking good. Like let's yeah. not take that away from him. I think he's this is the best looking photo he's been in. So if he loses, he's in his elements. 
Yeah, then it's strife. Mm. So are you going to give him a point? You can give him a point. Oh, I think, yeah, I think. Yeah. He can take the I lead. That's yeah. two I think one. he takes two the one. lead. Yeah. So he's not going to, he can't lose from here. No. Because there's only one so there's photo only one left. There's only one more. All right. And we have a, what looks to be like a festival photo. That looks like a festival to me. I think they're both looking at their best in this photo. Would you agree? To, so he's up 2-1. Yep. I think it could really end 2-1, to be honest. <laughs> I love this segment. <laughs> the science behind... Oh, jeez. The science behind, the science behind, behind this here. segment is just... you got to help us here, boys. Okay. The satchel... Oh, wow. Wow, they're that's both, tough. Yeah, they're both that's what I mean. It's probably there. Wow. They're both um, even there. Yeah. So you think he maybe just sneaks away with the win? I think he's. Oh, I think he sneaks. Okay. That's a two oh. one. Right. But that's a good two one. I think they're even there. Look, I think. Yeah. The reality is they they're they're a good match for each other. Yes. They are. Yeah. Given the photos we've been given, we can yeah. only go off that. Yeah. And if he takes he's a, win a slight there, winner, but a they're win. a good couple. Yeah. Yes, yeah, they are. Right. And you take that every day of the week. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I think they both should be proud of their efforts. If this makes the girl feel better, I was. Closer to a 2-2 two -two with those photos. Yeah. yeah. All right. I think the only thing that let her down was the side profile. Like if she yeah. just gave yep. us everything in that second, in that third. Yeah. yeah. That's a good It's point. a four-quarter effort at the end of yeah. the day. Like it is. If you lack in yeah. the third, then it's going to cost you a Premiership third. quarter, isn't it? Well, it's good yeah. to give feedback, you know. And she can work on that for next time. Yeah, Come back right. stronger, who Come knows? Come back with four yep. quality beers. That's the thing. I'd love to... <laughs> 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 I'd love to see like an update in a year's time. Yeah, Come back with some refreshed photos. Yeah. Yep. New haircut. Who knows? In a year's time, you should do the segment like that. <laughs> bring back all, <laughs> bring, bring back, back legends past again. <laughs> <laughs> bring back uh, past heroes of this past segment. Legends, <laughs> mate. Where are they now? <laughs> oh, wow. New partner. They might be single. Yeah. Just four photos of themselves. Often broke up after the segment. <laughs> yeah, we never know. All right, last couple. Yeah. We've got a. They're a bit of an older couple. Okay. okay. So that's what are we talking? Okay. Like thirty? You could say that. So, um, <laughs> how old's old? <laughs> no, like in their thirties, probably. Ooh, it's right. kind of hard bold to bring tell. up age, isn't it? And I just yeah. know the way you're giggling. Yeah. What? Come I don't on. Know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we would like to get your hot take on who's punching. We argue about it regularly, so we need a decision to be made. There's no need for arguments like We're that. We're in the sand here. Mm, right. So he has a. He's tatted out, and it looks yep. like she is too. Yeah, so they love their tattoos. I might, I might give him one nil. Yeah, I think I'm just yeah. Th that's just how I feel. Like okay, I'll give him one nil as well. Okay. Him, uh, um, Luke grins. I think he takes the cake. I'm happy to give him points here. Two you nil. So two nil. Huh? Yeah, I reckon he's up two nil. He's looking good. He's got the well. Great Northern in his hand. I kind of rate that. He's got the sunnies on the top of his head. Yeah. Trendy. Let's move it on to the boys. They look like they're at a wedding, but I'm giving it 2-0. Okay, so he's in a wheelchair. <laughs> Why does that matter, bro? He's on the back foot. It's an observation. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a, he's a good-looking fella, right? Yeah. Oh, the, I think he scrubs up the, really uh, well. What are they, the earbuds or whatever you call them? Do they add? They're, the reckon, they add? they're little stretches, aren't they? Yeah. I think. I don't mind I love that. his beard. Yep. Yeah, I just Strong think he's beard. up 2-0, yeah. to be honest. She's yeah. got the tats going. Those glasses are suiting her well, I reckon. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. I didn't even they notice look those. They really good on her. Um, oh, I reckon oh. he's got this one. He's suited up. He's yep. That dress looks good on her, though. She's wearing that dress all right. Mm -hmm. um, I think he's he... has got the flower yeah. shirt. There's a bit of confidence there. Floral. I think he takes two. I like 2-0. Yeah, I think okay. he takes two. How many more? One? Um, Just one just more. Just one more. Okay. So, I mean, he already gets it, doesn't he? At the yeah, yeah, up 2-0. Night out. Yep. And again, he's gone with a tropical shirt. I'm happy for a 3 nil. I'm happy and for 3 nil. You know, I didn't realise she's got a tattoo on the side of her skull. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, you'll see that That'll in a second. Um, yeah, I think he, he's he's doing well. Yeah, I'm happy to give him the hat trick. She's doing well as well. Yeah. He's just doing better. Yep, I'm happy to give that to him. They're both rocking the tats. That's him, they him, match. Give him yeah, three they nil. Do. Give him three nil. Good couple. Yeah. He walks away with that. Yeah. Uh, that's a great that game. Was great. Boys. No, that yeah. was good. Yeah. Very good. Thanks to everyone for sending those in. Get them in for next week as Keep well. Keep coming. Most definitely. Yeah. How um, many of those did you get sent in? Oh, 50. Heaps, bro. Yeah. Dude, how do you pick and choose? Just lucky, lucky dip. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes people will... 
follow up and follow up and follow up to the point where they'll never ever be on our show. Yeah, when they follow up too much, it's it kind of annoying, you know. It's yeah. extremely annoying. Like, yep. and you, I'll just see this person's name over and over and over, and you know who you are, and it happens so often, and it's just frustrating you just because, walk. well, if we like. I never really thought of that. Eh? <laughs> Dude. But then <laughs> <laughs> it's a basic feature of Instagram. Of the block button. <laughs> but then one day, right, that person might have a new segment for the show. They might have something to offer one day. Yeah, mm, but true. unfortunately it's just not it. And like if you beg too much for something, you know, you're yeah. not gonna get it. Probably not, no. But yeah. congratulations to the winners. Congratulations. Congrats. Yeah, congrats. Well, 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 um, they play their role. <laughs> Hopefully that's settled a few Champions arguments. of the game. What do you reckon the conversation is from here? Like, they get the result. They mm-hmm. see the result. So like, yeah, yeah we haven't have really had an update of, like, how it's affected relation. Oh, we have yeah. with yeah. the negative ones. Yeah, Surely yeah, yeah. there's been some positives where they've gone, at least we know our place mm. in, the, in the relationship. Who needs to work harder? <laughs> you know? Who needs to <laughs> pull their we weight? Know our yeah, at least we know weight. who's where. <laughs> Put a bit know. more effort in. Yeah. yeah. At the end of the day, they're asking for it. Yeah, they are. They, they want it. And there's always some yeah. stories, but yep. yeah. you know that's that. That's life, really. Yeah. yeah, we can only observe and be respectful, and you know, indeed, and make a decision. Stay We're stay granted that power for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, yeah expert. You, they don't make the rules. No, exactly. We do. <laughs> yeah, it's funny how people put so much. I guess. Um, I don't know. They want us to to either validate or bring them down. Yeah, and, yeah. and it's on our shoulders to give them that. Yeah, Emotion bring almost yeah, yeah bring bring me down yeah. Back bring down me down earth. It's a fetish almost No Tra- it, Trash me I think it is a fetish People get off on yeah. that shit Like Yeah, yeah. People really Trash me yeah. It's a weird world we live in Yeah yes. But you don't strike me as those kind of people To be honest boys No 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 We don't like to um To bring people down Yeah But sometimes like it just has to happen Yeah, yeah. yeah. Honest yeah. conversation Yeah For the it's greater good on, It's just on Exactly yeah. That's yeah. what yeah. it's for For the greater good yeah. yeah, making the world a better place, exactly. segment by segment. <laughs> <laughs> That's gold. Just All right, boys. A question I have for the both of you individually. Mm. You might yep. need a little bit of time to think about it. Some okay. people do need it. Some people don't. Uh, we ask all our guests this. It's a pretty common question, but it's deep. All right. Deep. Oh, okay. When all is said and done, how would you like to be remembered? Ooh. Wow. I think I have thought about it mm-hmm. in terms of like what, with everything going on. Mm. And um, you boys would know, like, you sort of get given a platform and all of a sudden people start listening to you. Right. Yeah. So, true. like, I only want to use that as a positive mm-hmm. thing and help people. Yeah. And spread a good message or mm. inspire. Like, Beautiful. That's that's it. I don't want to be known as bloke that used his, the platform for something negative. Yeah. yeah. And, like, mm. I only want to leave a positive message or inspire people. Beautiful. Yeah. I like that. Um, I reckon just to be remembered, like no matter how caught up in all this, like what we're doing at the moment, how big it gets or, or whatever happens in the future, um, just sticking to my roots and just, you know, being nice to everyone and treating everyone with the same amount of respect as I'd want to be treated with. Perfect. Yep. And if you do that, then you can have like great conversations with people, yep. people that, you know, you know, society might not respect or you know like people that you know have people judging them or whatever like if you treat them with respect early then you can you know just have good conversations with them and who knows what comes out of that Mm -hmm. so yeah if i can be remembered for someone that just you know doesn't get ahead of himself and treats everyone with with respect then yeah happy with that you boys been brought up well very good answers good families that's good stuff family thanks for coming on yeah it was a great episode Oh, that, was that was good fun. That was yeah, good. I love that. That's a different sort of potty. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Like, a lot of the potties we do or we've been on are like yeah. very structured and stuff like that. Like that. Yeah. They come in and they have a shitload of questions and that they want to know. But yeah, we used yeah. to be like that a little yeah. bit with guests, but we've gone away from that. That's actually why we said yes to coming on to yeah. this one because yeah. every other potty we get drilled with. Okay, how do you start? How are you doing this? Like, and like that's cool. Like people want to know it. That's that's awesome. Happy to do it. Um, but we have like tried to slow down on that whole yeah. thing, like, yeah. talking yeah. about what we do. It becomes repetitive, doesn't it? Yeah, it's nice just having a things. conversation yeah. about some random shit. You yeah, know? yeah. yeah. And that's what we lot, try to do. Yeah, that was yeah. great. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we try to do here. Like we want to incorporate. I guess our message is just being light-hearted, not taking things too seriously, and trying to entertain people. Just trying to yeah. lighten up people. Yeah, everything can weeks. be a bit serious these yeah. days. Yeah, you yeah. Know? yeah. 
All right, boys, we're coming to the end of the show. Do you want to plug your socials? Let everyone know where they can find your work. Absolutely. Mm. Go head over to Instagram or TikTok or Twitter now. Actually, we've been posting a bit on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, how's that going? Yeah. Like, we, don't, we don't indulge in Twitter. Nah. Like that. Yeah. I feel like Twitter for us has been great because mm-hmm. wow. you get all these commentators and athletes, they have a profile on Twitter and that's where they voice their opinions. So yep. they're all active on Twitter. Yeah. And if they see our stuff and you know, it takes like all these athletes and stuff sharing yeah. our stuff. The they retweet. share it on Twitter yep. instead of yeah. the retweet, you know, instead yep. of on Instagram. Mm-hmm. You can find us on Shetmates as well. Shetmates. Yeah. So Shetmates is our handle. If you're into your sport, um, you'll like it. Um I hope. I hope you like it. Um if you're into your footy as well, YouTube. Where we've got a few vlogs coming out, travel vlogs. Mm-hmm. Um, and with the local footy season this year, yep. we're doing some more content on that. Beautiful. So, yeah. Are you boys playing this year? Yeah. 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 So our same passions team? is local footy. Yep. So, yeah, we play Crib Point Magpies yep. in yep. the Mornington Peninsula League. So, yep. we absolutely love it down there. Miles is at Casey this year in the VFL. Mm-hmm. So, yep. hopefully, so hopefully, hopefully you get more games there. Hopefully play a few games there. But if not, be playing with Archie. So Beautiful. Yeah. Film a bit of content on there. So, yeah, get around the YouTube channel. If you want to see more on that, sounds yeah. good. Yeah. No, thanks for coming on, boys. It's been a pleasure. We yeah. hope you enjoy your time in Perth. We're yeah. very happy to have we you will. here. We're loving it. And boys, um, loved it. Thanks so much, and uh, keep killing the pod. Doing a great job. We appreciate it. Cheers, boys. We'll see you next week. Yep. Thank you for listening to the Jamo and Dylan Show. Make sure to subscribe to the boys on YouTube and share the podcast with a mate.